hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm continuing the tutorial about sophos utm so first of all let's log in with sophos utm if you don't know how to install the sophos utm you can refer the previous video i'll put the link on the description so you you know you can install it on your server or your workstation for testing so i just logged into my sophos utm console this is the dashboard and for testing i have um, a virtual machine windows 10 computer and we will see how it's gonna work so i have three network ports assigned for sophos utm you can see here i have three network adapters and I'm going with custom uh, VMNet adapter. So let's um, go here, and it's already added. It's already in VMNet adapter, and it's already connected. So what we are going to do? First, we need to create a network interface go to the interface and let's create one um, interface with the name gust network say for example it's a gust network and choose the hardware ethernet to intel corporation and let's put some static ip address 192.168.200.10 because I have created 200 dot uh, X as my network ID and just save it so you can see that there is a guest network is created on 192.168.200.10 is the IP address of the guest network port on this uh, Sophos UTM and the next thing we are going to do let's go to the DHCP and we have to enable a DHCP server on this network so let's start from 200.50 um, and let's make like 200.100 uh, DNS server keep it as it is and save it so you can see that a DHCP server is enabled and interface is already created this network and it's up now let's go to the Windows 10 and see if it's getting an IP or not I think it's still didn't get an IP let's get an IP from DHCP server IP config slash release okay and renew so it will ask it will check for the DHCP server and we got an IP the first IP we have assigned in the DHCP pool 200.50 okay now if you want to browse the internet can we browse or not because we cannot browse the internet for sure because we didn't create any firewall rules for enabling the internet for example, I'm gonna go to google.com. It's saying that the site can't be reached. So there is something we have to do in our firewall. Let's go back to the firewall and go to the network settings. First, we need to check if it's enabled a DNS or not. As we know, there is no DNS servers on my network infrastructure right now. So I have to add Gus network to access my DNS. It's provided by the UTM and the forwarders will be already there, which will be using the IP assigned by the ISP, which means now I have a static IP. Sorry, DHCP I got from my router actually. So if it's a direct connection from ISP you will be seeing a public IP here 
so anyway we created one guest network and let's see if I can browse or not still I will not be able to browse the internet because there is no rules created for guest network so first we'll go to network protection and go to firewall and let's create one rule here let's make it on the top sources from guest network let's say from guest network and at present let's put any services and here destination is gonna be internet or external say for example external van network hello save So it has to be any because it's not just going to external network. It has to be any, for example, for testing purpose. And save. And now let's go to net. And we have to create one rule for our GUS network. Now let's um, delete this one. This network. And interface is going to be external one. So we have to create this natural masquerading actually. This network is going to be netted to external for the internet purpose. Now let's see if it's working or not. Most probably it's gonna work. Mm, let's go back to the Windows Server, Windows 10. And yeah, it's working. The Google is accessible now. Hello, let's put hello. Ah, okay, I got something from internet right now. So, cool. And now we can start applying the policies on our guest network. For example, I don't want to create to permit all services I just want to enable web surfing nothing else and say for example I'm just gonna give the access to internet IPv4 and internet IPv6 fine now the guest network is permitted for web surfing which means HTTP proxy, HTTP, HTTP web cache and HTTPS and permitted for internet IPv4 and internet IPv6. So still we have to enable, still we have to be able to browse the internet. You can see that still we are able to browse the internet. Let's click on news.google.com. So it's fine, internet is working. So this is one of the way to secure our network and let's for example let's clone this one and let's make it any any to any and reject save it so you can see that this network is rejected any services to any destination so we won't be able to browse the internet right now. Let's go back to the Google News. You can see that it's not loading. For example, yahoo.com. It's not going to get the internet because this rule is enabled at present, at first. So this network is unable to go anywhere using any service. So what we are going to do let's click this one and we have to make its reposition let's put it on the group top save it 
So, now this guest network is NA is permitted to access internet for web survey and the second rule is it is not permitted for anything else. So, now just go to yahoo.com let us see if it is going to work here it is working. So, this is how you can configure your firewall for a specific network I will continue the session in coming videos. So, hope you enjoy this video. I hope this video is helpful guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.